Hi guys, we're going to continue on with vital signs. So now I'm going to demonstrate manual pulse and respiration. Okay. So the key to doing this is you're not going to tell your patient that I'm going to count your respirations because they're going to breathe for you. Okay. So the key is to do this where they think you're only doing one thing. You're taking their pulse. So when you go in to talk to them, you're just going to tell them, I'm going to, I'm going to take your vital signs. And um, then you're going to do their pulse and respirations over a 30 second period with the first 15 seconds being the pulse and the second 15 seconds being the respirations. Okay. Um, I'm going to show it to you, demonstrate what we're doing, and then I'll do it for you in real time. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to do my pre and uh, pre and post procedure guidelines. So I'm going to get some hand gel. Knock, knock, knock. Come in. Door, close the door. Hi, Miss Langston. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. My name is Kim, and I'm from Hartsville High School, and I'm going to take your vital signs. Okay. Okay? So I'm going to need you to be still. It's only going to take me about a minute or two, so it okay. won't take very long. Okay. All right, so to take the pulse, we've discussed you're going to find the radial pulse site, which is on the thumb side, okay? So if you take two fingers, um, there is a groove right there, and you should feel the pulse on the thumb side. And it's between the middle of the wrist and this wrist bone, okay? And if you feel right there, there is a groove and there's a pulse there, okay? So I find the pulse, and then what I do is I just lay it across their stomach so then I can feel when they're breathing okay so I'm only I'm gonna count for like I said a total of 30 seconds with the first 15 being the pulse and the second 15 being the respirations now here's a tip when you're counting this especially if you have a clock that the second hand ticks you can't sit there and look at the clock because you will start counting the ticks instead of counting the pulse. So what you do is you pick a number and most, most students like to pick 12, three, six, or nine. And so that, so that you know when you've got to stop. Okay, so I'm gonna start at the 12 and I'm gonna count her pulse until the three. And I'm not gonna stare, go. So, I got 17 in 15 seconds, so her pulse is 68, and I got six respirations from the three to the six, so her respirations are 24. So, that is how you do it. You're not wanting your patient to know what you're doing, okay? So, um, are you doing okay? I am. Okay. So, do you know how to use the call bell? I do. Okay, there's the button. Call me if you need me. Yep. I don't think and I will go out and if it's abnormal or anything then I would report and record it to my nurse okay so now I'm going to show it to you in real time okay and it does not take that didn't take very long but I'm not going to do any kind of explanation okay so knock 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 come in Hi, Miss Langston. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. My name is Kim Goins, and I'm from Hartsville High School, and I'm going to take your vital signs real quick, okay? okay. All right. This is not going to take me, but just a second or two. Okay. And we'll be done. Okay, I want you to relax your arm.
pulse was 80 and your respirations were 20. Okay. Okay. All right. Do uh, you need anything? No. You do. Call me if you need anything, okay? okay? Thank you. All right. Okay, so one other tip I want to tell you about doing the respirations is the reason the hand is across the stomach is you can feel the stomach rise and fall with each breath. If you can't feel that, then you've got your hand. They think you're taking their pulse. You can watch their shoulder or their chest for the rise and the fall, okay, and count the respirations that way. So as you saw, that did not take very long at all. Uh, and they were not aware that I was counting respirations, okay? So if you've got any questions, let your uh, instructor know.